pick Minecraft's next mob? Hmm. Not gonna lie, when I saw this, I was like, wow, they're going back to the mob vote. Like, this is gonna be crazy. I'm sure the internet is going absolute bonkers right now with ideas, with concepts and possibilities. So I figured today, let's focus on exactly what the Minecraft community is saying about the mob vote. We're going to be hopping onto Twitter in just a brief moment. But if you guys are really excited for Minecraft Live, I prefer Minecon Live. But if you're really hyped, really excited, do me a huge favor. Crush that like button for me. Let's see if we can get over seven likes in today's video the support is just overwhelming lately and i can definitely feel the energy for minecraft live leave your mob ideas down below as well don't forget to hashtag stealth army and with that said let's hop on to twitter i'm actually really excited about today's video because anytime i include the community or research what they're saying things just get really hilarious. Like it's always a blast and super funny. So what we're gonna do is hop onto Twitter and type in Minecraft mob vote. And we're gonna search and see what everybody is saying. This is gonna be good. Now that we're zoomed in, the first one is by the homie system Z. I'm sure a lot of you know his channel and his videos. He makes great content. And he said, what if the new mob vote is for a new boss in Minecraft? Which is something I've actually mentioned before on this channel as well. In all honesty, I think it's time we get a new boss in Minecraft. It's well overdue and just being able to vote for a new boss in the game would just be one of the coolest things ever. Can you imagine selecting a new boss out of four options? Like, that would just be game changing. So I did reply to this. I believe I said something like, been thinking about that also bro it needs to happen it just does right we need a new boss in minecraft let's continue searching pluckman says please why are you doing another mob vote <laughs> the last one proved we are too stupid to handle those we picked the worst mob <laughs> so if you guys were a part of minecon earth i believe it was called minecon earth in 2017 that was the first year they did something like that. We were able to vote for a new mob. It was mob A, B, C, or D. And the Phantom Mob won. Honestly, probably the worst option out of all of them. A lot of people got super excited because it could fly. It was a flying mob. And then it turned out to be a mosquito, right? It turned out to be a mosquito that came at nighttime. And if you didn't sleep, it would just create chaos. It would just attack you constantly until you slept and wow what a mistake this next tweet is by blubs okay my predictions for minecraft 1.17 minecraft live i hope 1.17 is a cave update and has the mountain updates in it and the mob vote i want to pick the cutest looking mob that isn't a real life animal already i miss mob c so I do agree with pretty much everything here. I do want the cave update. I want the mountain update features like the goats, the snowier snow, the more realistic looking mountains. As for it being the cutest mob, it doesn't really matter on the appearance of the mob, more so what it brings, what it offers, and if it just changes the game. Like that's ultimately what I want to see in a positive way. I don't want a mob that's annoying, that's destructive. We already got plenty of mobs like that. The creepers, the ghast, like the list goes on. There's so many mobs that just ruin your game experience. I think we need a mob that's supportive, that is possibly tameable, or a boss would be great as well. So I do like this tweet, but I don't really care on the appearance so much. Let's continue. I was wondering if mob vote in Minecon Live, we can vote for mobs to come in other Minecraft games, not just Minecraft like Minecraft Earth, Minecraft Dungeons. So that is a really good question. It looks like this event is not just simply about Minecraft, but it's also about Minecraft Dungeons and Minecraft Earth. So could we see a vote for those two games as well? I don't know. We gotta remember that they only have so much time. Typically, you know, it's an hour and a half, an hour-ish, and then they have like 30, 40 minutes of random panels or developer panels where the developers talk about things. You also have the games, like they do all of these really random mini games to get 
people interested and invested and just having a good time. So there's other things outside of voting for mobs or voting for features and talking about the next update. They save some time for other things as well. So I don't know, it just really comes down to time, right? Please don't do another mob vote like 2017, where you show off and explain concepts and only one ever gets added. I thought y'all changed to the all will get in but winner comes first style with the biome since no one liked the mob vote. Hmm. Strong words. This is why I love the Minecraft community. You guys are not censored whatsoever. You're just raw, passionate gamers. Do I agree with this tweet? 2,000 years later. I agree with most of it. I do like us being able to vote for mobs, but they do have to go back to the way they did it with the biomes where, yes, the winner comes first. Everybody else will come eventually. But this whole idea of you can only vote for one mob and then all the other mobs are trashed, you'll never see them ever again. I don't think anybody was truly a fan of that. This is a really good tweet and I think it does resonate with a lot of people. I think a lot of people would agree with the statement and feel the exact same way. Something that Minecraft still needs to work on and improve on, even though they've done a great job this year, ultimately with the Nether update, they still gotta work on their communication and listening. We know they listen a lot on feedback, but you still have Twitter, Reddit, you have Discord, so many areas and so many places you can go to to learn more about Minecraft officially, even their Instagram. So a lot of people are giving constructive criticism and that feedback that Minecraft desperately needs at times. And I think the 2017 format wasn't the best. I'm excited for the mobs, but they really shouldn't do this thing where all the other mobs are never coming. I think a lot of people wanted the hovering inferno or the blazing inferno. It looked like a super saiyan inferno and it was just a perfect fit for the nether update. But sadly, we're never gonna see that mob again. So definitely worth checking out this tweet. Hopefully someone from Mojang saw this and they're like, you know what, you're right. Mob B was the only option that was explicitly tied to some stupid mechanic. The problem was that not enough people voted. Please vote people. I know that not every one of you wants the next Phantom. True. That is very true. A lot of people just feel that way. <laughs> and unfortunately, it does come down to the majority vote. So even if it's like the worst option, if most people, if the majority of people vote for that mob, it's going to be introduced so we got to be careful this year phantoms were a mistake in my opinion some people might feel differently but i think the majority of people nowadays understand that phantoms were not a good fit for minecraft all right let's see what else we got going on here yeah i think they've learned their lesson on the 2017 mob vote because after that 2018 2019 biome follows the same format of voting on what biome will be implemented first all right this one says the mob votes are great except we're all idiots and vote for phantoms also hate how they never add the other options later on so i feel like we're going to see a lot of this on twitter october 3rd is minecraft live which means you won't be able to vote unless you have a Twitter account. So you're gonna need that in order to vote. It will be live, so while you're watching the event, they will instruct you to go on Twitter and go follow the official Minecraft page. It has, you know, the verified check, it's a verified account, and then they will instruct you on what to do. Usually it's like follow, vote now, you have like 10, 20 minute window, and then they just, lock the vote and then they just move on to the next vote pretty straightforward nothing complicated but share your ideas down below for the mob vote would you guys like to see a mini boss would you like to see a new type of villager a new type of illager or even some sort of new piglin share your ideas down below i'm still hoping for a new mini boss i would just love a mini boss as always notification squad y'all are the best and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, peace.